So my name is René Carmona. I was uh, educated in French uh, in a highly uh, rigorous and uh, abstract uh, mathematical uh, framework. And um, I eventually started being interested in probability. Uh, and even though probability was not taught uh, in many French universities, um, I had to be a little bit like uh, an outlier and I ended up uh, working in mathematical physics and application of probability in mathematical physics. So uh, very quickly I got interested in applications of mathematics even though my upbringing was really theoretical mathematics. <clears throat> and um, these um, application and the interaction between uh, abstract mathematics and, and application was not very uh, common in France and even uh, in this country in the United States for quite some time um, pure mathematician had a tendency to look down on uh, on an unapplied mathematician uh, while on the other hand um, many of the major development in mathematics come from application, whether it was from physics traditionally, uh, like quantum mechanics, who was the driving force of many development in mathematics. Uh, it also came from biology more recently, and an enormous amount of uh, mathematical research is done motivated by problems from uh, biology. It was easier for me to uh, mix um, application and, and theoretical mathematics and developing mathematical theory driven by uh, application and by questions coming from practical problems. As a, as a mathematician, uh, I had harder and hard time to um, uh, survive and live and be happy in the mathematics department because the mathematics department in this country are uh, too theoretical, I believe. In the United States, it was very easy for me to get involved with uh, private companies, uh, whether they were from the aerospace industry, from the financial industry, uh, from uh, uh, medical company and energy companies uh, to uh, use uh, the mathematics that I was uh, fond of, the mathematics that I was developing, to use these mathematics onto applications. And so the applications, which are, I think, an enormous source of uh, challenges for mathematicians and sources of interest are now uh, everywhere and more recently for the last uh, six or seven years I've been working on game theory and on models for game theory and in particular for what uh, we call now mean field games. Mathematics is uh, behind everything indeed um, but uh, many people uh, have uh, taken on themselves to develop um, uh, mathematics, maybe not in secret, but uh, independently of the academic uh, research and the progress made by uh, academics and, and, and university professors and, uh, and students. Um, typical example are the banks, which are extremely secretive and they have developed an entire field of financial mathematics and, you know, mathematicians had basically to learn what were the actual issue, what is the actual data uh, to which a uh, mathematics model and, and, and mathematical idea can, can be applied. Uh, same thing with industry, um, you know, mathematics is uh, indeed uh, everywhere, but, uh, you know, some industry are extremely uh, secretive because uh, of the competition. They believe that um, their edge the chances of success is essentially due to um, uh, the fact that they have unique data, they have unique technology, they own, they employ uh, uh, special expert, and, and so this makes it difficult for, for knowledge uh, to be shared, uh, but it is absolutely true that, uh, you know, the new generation and the generation, the financial industry, the high-tech industry is trying to hire our generation of uh, student individual capable of understanding uh, 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 real life problems, being able to model them and understand the mathematical problem, but that's not enough. These 
unique combination of skills involving data analysis, involving uh, pure mathematics, and involving uh, computer skills, I think is what is going to be uh, uh, the driving force of most economies and the driving force of, of the job market. But at the same time, as long as the university can keep up uh, with the uh, industry, uh, the research uh, in academia as well.